student boss video. So I found my A-level chemistry notes and I thought it would be a good idea to show you how I made notes in year 12 and in year 13 because they were completely different. The notes that I later made in year 13 got me an A in chemistry and made revision more efficient and enjoyable for me. I've already made a video on how to get an A in A-level chemistry and that gives a lot of useful advice so you can check that out if you haven't already but this video will be given an in-depth insight into how I made my notes. So we'll start with my year 12 notes and I must warn you that you are about to see some really horrendous and basic notes because I made some mistakes in year 12. My notes were messy and nothing stood out because I didn't yet know how to make notes for A-level chemistry that worked for me. When I came to revise for mocks, my notes that I'd taken at the beginning of the year looked so unfamiliar because I wasn't regularly going through them and there were still some parts that I just didn't understand. So something had to change. Things started to click towards the end of year 12 and I found a note taking method that works for me. I switched up my note taking format and made it more engaging for myself. As you can see these are way better than the previous ones. They're more vibrant, I leave space to explain the things that I don't understand to myself and it's just very organised. How did I make these notes and what changed from year 12 to year 13? Of course I used my exam board specific textbook to make the main bulk of the notes but I also used these revision guides that I found online and they're called Chem Revised. I found that they just lay things out that the book would overcomplicate in a very concise and helpful manner. So I just printed these out and made my own notes from the revision guide and from the book. I would also refer to another website called ChemGuide that just explained things that I found really hard but I didn't really make notes from that website, it was just for understanding. For topics with organic chemistry, I would clearly write down every reaction that I needed to know. It's also a good idea to make summary sheets or posters for all the reactions and structures that you need to know. Then when you're revising these, you can see the bigger picture, see how everything kind of links up together and when revising, you can cover up some parts with sticky notes and try to test yourself to figure out what reaction leads to what. With things that you need to purely memorize or learn quickly, just put them onto flashcards and test yourself regularly. For inorganic and physical chemistry that need more practice than revision, it's still important to make notes for the theory of these topics. The textbook that I used had worked examples, which I would include in my notes when I have understood and answered those questions. I didn't actually do this for all of them, just the ones that I felt were more likely to reappear in an exam question, or the ones that I felt like I would easily forget how to answer. If a topic is dry or boring, try to make it more engaging and interactive for yourself, because you have to learn it, so you might as well make it more interesting. You can do this by revising it with your friends, or just adding bits to your notes that make the information more appealing and easily remembered. I also enjoyed adding diagrams and drawing pictures that would help me to remember things that were hard to remember. I also used this small A5 notebook to make notes. I actually used this for AS Chemistry and Biology and it worked pretty well despite the fact that it's still full of information. I used it mainly for things that would not fit onto flashcards and it was just a really good way to make notes that I could revise when on the go. I also want to add that A-level chemistry is not just about making notes but you have to keep doing practice questions and also learning from your mistakes. I know the content is a lot but stay consistent and stay on top of your notes. You are capable of getting an A or even an A star. If you found this video useful, your classmates may also find it useful so be sure to share and like this video. As always, be sure to study smart and live productively like a student boss.